Well, I was trying to do this video and I had been saving this bullet that had been fired out of my gun and then I picked up in the yard for months and now I just dropped it during this previous attempt to film this video. But I have other examples of plated bullets, which is what this is about. So, uh, assuming that and maybe I shouldn't assume, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that the process probably isn't that much different from one to the other. Um, plated bullet. And here's what I am using here to reload with. Ooh, they're still pretty full. So it's a little heavy. These uh CMJ restrike. I don't know if the restrike what that exactly means if anyone can tell me uh, that would be nice um, probably has something to do with uh, the fact that they're plated I don't know if they're I don't know at all what that means so but uh, that's what I'm using the to reload and I've been talking about with some other people who reload and the one guy I worked with says uh, you know that uh, plating is like as thin as paint and I'm thinking you know I have one of these bullets that I had fired through my gun and went through a you know, I shoot paper targets usually went through a paper target and went into the dirt and I picked it up and it seemed in pr pretty pristine condition for having been through the barrel of a gun at eight nine hundred feet per second because I use a short barrel I'm not gonna uh, and I don't I don't load towards the top end of the powder what I can load for powder and I really doubt I'm getting that great of velocity out of there, which doesn't greatly concern me. But, uh, so I'm probably right around 900. <laughs> anyway, they're 124 grain, so that slows them down a little bit. But anyway, he, uh, was saying, oh, that's gonna leave, uh, copper fouling in your barrel and da, da 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 and I cleaned it several times since I started using these and I didn't notice a lot of copper fouling and I'm just you know thinking to myself how thick are these and but uh, I had like I said I had that other one I was going to try to smash it and see how if I can see how thick the plating was but I had these other ones that I had been shooting these Buffalo Cartridge Company, and uh, I think a lot of the a lot of people are going to start going to plated bullets because they, I, the the back end of the bullet looked like that on the plate on the plated bullets. I can just take one of these out and show you. The, I want to smash up a good bullet, so I can take it out and show you. Oh, shiny but it has a little dip in the back and then this this one worked its way in somehow into uh, some bulk ammo that I bought at a local place here and that's what uh, copper jacket ammo looks like they usually have some lead exposed in the back compared to that with the plated they're fully coated or plated obviously in uh, copper and uh, this is another one that worked its way in this is a 40 Smith & Wesson worked its way into a batch of uh, bulk ammo that I bought bulk bullets I should say and uh, this strangely came from a friend of mine uh, 
it's got right flea marks on it so he picked one up he gave me a bunch of brass and that was in there I don't know I could smash those two but I would suspect that I'm just going to find about what I found here when I smashed this uh, Buffalo Cartridge Company bullet that came out of one of their cartridges which the Buffalo Cartridge Company does uh, remanufactured and I know uh, Freedom Munitions does remanufactured and new but they only do remanufactured but they are in Ohio and uh, that's where I'm from so it's kind of cool that's why I bought them they're out of Ohio and when I first bought them I didn't realize they were already reloaded once but yeah they were a good price <laughs> This is what I found when I smashed it in my vise. You can see the waffle pattern on there from how I smashed it in my vise. And you can, if it'll focus, see that it is pretty thin. Uh, I don't know, I would say it's probably thicker than a coat of paint. Like my one uh, co-worker was telling me that it's thicker than a coat of, or only as thick as a coat of paint. Which, I don't know, maybe not whole lot thicker but still uh, I haven't had any problems with my gun fouling up with uh, copper fouling or anything I even got some cleaner that's supposed to take care of copper fouling I thought about switching to CFE hydrogen CF copper fouling eliminator but I don't think I need to I don't really need to. It's not with pistol ammo anyway. I don't know if they, if plated ammo, if plated bullets have become popular with rifles or anything, but I don't know, you know, if that, if I was using that for anything with a higher velocity, whether I would get that uh, kind of copper fouling but it hasn't seemed to be an issue with 9mm so just wanted to put that out there and try to show you how thick the plating is because like I said nobody else is doing this on uh, social media so if you're thinking about doing plated bullets I would say it's a definite uh, cost effective thing to do for reloading at least it has been for 9mm because I bought these by the thousand and I think I paid like right around ninety dollars per thousand which they came out to ninety cents a bullet and I was paying no that can't be right nine nine cents I don't know what I was thinking there about nine cents a bullet and I was paying uh, about 13 cents per bullet the uh, other stuff that I was buying I bought some uh, Hornady HAPs are they are really good bullets I like those they were a 125 if I was going to reload hollow points I would try to go find some more of those but they I couldn't find them and I started buying these in bulk and then they uh, had them in by the thousand there too so uh, I don't know I haven't seen anywhere online where you can buy these but there are a lot of other plated bullet manufacturers berries is a big one uh, I can't extreme something extreme bullets they make plated um, so I would definitely say that obviously it's why the you know freedom munitions and Buffalo cartridge company is going to plated bullets because they're that much cheaper and then you're not trading in anything away for the lesser expense so I would definitely say that it is worth reloading plated bullets 
for the cost savings. Have a good day.